Yeah, all right, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, show about amateur radio or ham radio, uh, and with an emphasis on moving information back and forth, a reimagining amateur radio in the information age. Today is a great example. Um, we're using the APRS packet network where we can send text messages back and forth to radios. We've actually got a virtual radio out there that implements APRS chat room so you can create and join a chat room and do one-to-end messagings from radio to from one radio to a whole bunch of other radios using uh, the IRC chat room so an IRC chat this time on KM6 LYW radio <laughs> Right, there we go. Welcome back. Yeah, that's the bumper music. I can't afford real bumper music, so so we're winging it here, guys. All right, here we are in the shack. We've got the ICOM 705 on here on an APRS frequency at 144390 in the Americas, and that's going to be 144.8 in Europe and elsewhere. We've also got the DigiPi over here, which is an APRS TNC. If you've never seen this before, this is probably the very first video you've seen of KM6 LYW Radio. And not to be outdone, we've got an extra HT here. This is actually the XYL's HT. Um, we're going to do some APRS messaging today, but not just sending text messages from radio to radio. We're actually going to send a message to chat rooms that you can cre dynamic re dynamically create. And so you send one message to the chat room, and it goes to all the other radios that are subscribed to the chat room. Um, so this could be like maybe your club could create a APRS chat room, and uh, you can send a message to every member in your club. And this works worldwide using the APRS packet network. It is Backed up by the internet, um, so you know the large spans are going to be performed by the internet. But anything that's uh, you know uh, in VHF range is of course going to pick up your APRS packet stuff. So that it's a really cool network. So we are going to go to a virtual radio. We're going to send a message to a virtual radio, and this is brand new. In fact, uh, WB4BOR created this. Walt in Virginia. Thank you, Walt, created uh, the IRC virtual radio. It, you know, IRC goes back to the 80s. It's like a uh, internet relay chat. We would probably think of a more clever name, but we lack imagination. So IRC is what we're calling this. If you know how, if you remember and know how to use IRC chat on the internet, you already know how to use APRS I, IRC uh, virtual radio. So this is the DigiPi web management interface. You can see right now I've got it on APRS DigiPeter. I've got the way APRS web chat stuff running. In fact, if we click on the web chat down here, it will pull up the web chat client. So what we're going to do is send a message to IRC. That's the virtual radio, and that stands for Internet Relay Chat. I'm going to do a respectable path here. And we can create any channel we want. Like we can say slash join, pound, you know, DigiPi. In fact, that's, that's already out there. Or we can do join, uh, pound, lounge. This is what we recommend. You know, if you don't know what's going on, just you know, everyone go ahead and join pound lounge if you want to. Um, I'm going to do a send here, and we just sent the message out on the radio. You can see the icon was transmitting. The DigiPi shows our call sign, and it says uh, use slash leave slash leave pound lounge to leave. And it also says I'm already in channel lounge, so, you know, it, that, that's cool. I just want to make sure it still worked. So now anything I type to the IRC or any messages I send to the IRC virtual radio will go to everyone on the channel. Um, in fact, uh, a message just came through here on the wife's HT. So um, it says KM6MZM. Hey, we've already got people here. It says, good morning, everyone. So you can see I got his message that was sent to the IRC chat room. And my wife's X, uh, XYL's uh, radio picked it up. We can see it there. And I'm going to say, this is like perfect. KM6MZM, thank you. This is like, you're like my setup guy. Hey, good morning from California, exclamation point. And so this is going out to a bunch of radios that are in the pound lounge room right now. Um, and I'm going to say, hey, I'm uh, my wife. My wife, HD, just got the video. It says uh, <laughs> the message I just sent. So you can see it's just working on these handhelds. It's working anywhere in the field. I happen to be in a shack. Um, all, all of this here locally is happening on RF only. There's really no internet happening. Um, it's somewhere, there's an eye gate, you know, out in the ether out there somewhere that's connected to the internet that's getting to this virtual IRC chat room. Um, but so I have actually connected to a, a, a room. I have uh, received a message from someone. I've sent a message, which came through on the wife's HT. Um, there is an administrative interface for this. This is at aprs-irc.hemna.com. Boy, that's really hard to read up there. I'll put it in the notes. And you can kind of see online, this is uh, just all the activity. 
uh, coming through on the channel. In this room, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight or nine people already in here. WB4BOR, the owner, the administrator, the perpetrator of the IRC virtual APRS chat room radio is here. That's Walt. Thank you, Walt, so much. And there's a bunch of people. We've got activity going on. Um, and Walt's saying hi from Virginia on Kenwood D74. And uh, he says, hey, guys, using web chat here. So Walt and I are really working on a lot of this software together. So all of the back end for this, uh, APRSD is running the IRC virtual radio. We've got a bunch of chat rooms out here. In fact, I can type uh, slash list. I'm going to send that. And it's going to come back with a list of rooms and the number of users in, the, in here. Um, this is APRS Thursday, which is kind of like a single chat room kind of thing. So I'm kind of hoping I don't get slammed with the transmissions here. So far, so good. It's been going nuts all day. So as we can see, we've got the, in, in Lounge channel, we've got eight users. And in the DigiPi channel, yeah, DigiPi, we've got one user. That's kind of kind of tragic, but but there you go. So this is it. This is uh, IRC chat over amateur radio using the APRS protocol. And, and it really boils down to the uh, the IRC chat virtual radio you send it messages you can uh, slash list channels slash leave slash join um, you prefix all your channels with the uh, with the pound sign and it, what i was thinking is if you've got a club or something you know like what your call like our club's call signs w6ek um, we can um, just make a chat room called pound w6ek and anyone who wants to opt in to receive club messages over aprs all you have to do is send a message to the irc um, when you've joined multiple channels, like if you do, if you've only joined one channel, you just say join pound digipi, and if that's your only channel, just type. But otherwise, you need to type. Uh, I think it's message pound digipi if you want to send a message to a specific channel if you're joined to more than one. So I would just recommend joining one uh, channel just to make that easier because honestly, it's hard to type in these little things. You don't want to have to type slash message and those kinds of things. But anyways, this is brand new. This is kind of in beta test. Um, we've got this uh, in online internet interface, so everyone can read this. It's easy to see. You can see the users that are there. And of course, you know, this is inter internet operated. Uh, there's a whole management interface. If you want to like implement your own similar type of service, this is all open source software using APRSD. So Walt put this together too. So we've got all our statistics for the IRC APRS chat server. All right, so this could actually could not have gone better because we see a conversation happening in here. Thank you, Walt, KM6MZM. Thank you. Uh, you know, we're, we're all chatting in this room, the eight of us right now. So I don't have to send a message to each one of these guys individually. I can just send it to the IRC virtual radio and it goes to everyone in the lounge or whatever channel I'm subscribed to. So Really cool. This is something I've always wanted to do. I've always used internet relay chat, you know, since the 80s. In fact, I think it was invented in 1988. Um, so we've actually got this working on amateur radio. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have any policies or limits here. Uh, this does use the APRS uh, messaging protocol. Um, so we're just sending uh, message type packets over APRS. It is directed at localities. So it, you know, that's the beauty of APRS. It really hits RF only where, you know, these target radios are on your channel. So, you know, if you're in Poland somewhere and you're not subscribed to any of these channels, you're not going to see any of this traffic. So really cool. Bridging the APRS network with the Internet, um, one service at a time. And here we have the IRC virtual radio. All right, so none of this exi would exist, well, one, without Walt, and two, without the patrons of the channel. We got uh, patreon.com slash km6lyw. Uh, anything gets you access to the DigiPi SD card image, which is running, which is what's running in this Raspberry Pi right here. Um, the DigiPi has a web management interface. All you need is a tablet or a Wi-Fi device, anything that's on the internet. Um, it works with APRS Droid. That's what I happen to have up right there. And of course, here it is. Uh, the DigiPi management interface is running on my tablet. Um, so I've, I could be doing the web chat stuff all uh, from the convenience of my easy chair in the other room. I don't need a computer and all that, just any kind of Wi Fi device, or more specifically, web browser. DigiPi gives you access to every single data mode there is on your radio using nothing more than a Wi-Fi device, or more specifically, a web browser. And of course, the people who have funded this are just amazing. This has been overwhelming. We've got Steve, NW2W, Andrew, Fu, Brian, Chris, Malcolm, Paul, Jim, Jeremy, Buddy, Robert, Kevin, Eddie, Aaron, William, Scott. <laughs> There's just so many. Um, I can't possibly 
scroll through all these. I'm getting a bunch of messages on the HD. It's pretty cool. You can actually see the, the protocol happening there. Uh, Steve, Robert Furlong, Scott Morrison. We've got Kanji Alphabet person here. I don't read or speak Japanese. I'm sorry. Um, we've got even a name with us, an, an asset in his name. So I'm sure we've got people from the uh, Netherlanders and Deutschland here. This is a worldwide conspiracy of people contributing to the KM6LYW radio channel and all of them has access to the Digipi SD card image that you can download at digipi.org and you put it in your Raspberry Pi, hook it up to your radio and you do everything I just did today and so much more. We're talking about FT8, JS8 call. Um, it's really makes these data modes more accessible and there are like well over a thousand of you here and um, that means there's well over a thousand people with easy access to data modes on amateur radio it's not just on vhf it's hf it is everywhere and all bands and all modes using the digipi all right so that has been a demonstration of the irc virtual radio um, that implements chat rooms for aprs packet network and you can operate this on your ht your digipi um, you know, the DigiPi turns your ICOM 705, which has no data modes built in, into a data powerhouse, you know. So that's, that's what we're using here today. All right, guys, my name is Craig. I am in California, amateur radio call sign KM6LYW, and I am clear.